So today's makeup look is inspired by the adorable wide-eyed fish named Dory. So you guys ready? I'm gonna grab my brush. Oh, what was I supposed to do? I totally forgot. I suffer from short-term memory loss. <gasps> makeup tutorial. Oh, by the way, this is also gonna be waterproof. First, I'm gonna start off by applying my sunscreen. This one is SPF 58 and it's also water resistant. Then I'm gonna take my latest addition, this Urban Decay Foundation, which says waterproof right there on the bottom, and start applying it with my spinning brush. After the foundation, I'm going to use this Makeup Forever concealer on the areas that I really need. I've noticed that most concealers are waterproof, even though they don't mention it. To shape my brows and make them perfect for Dory, I'm going to take this brow pomade from Anastasia. I've worn this underwater tons of times and it just stays put. I realized that applying a blue eyeliner above my brows would make it look really cool. I'll have blue brows. Wow, that's really difficult to say. Try saying blue brows 10 times really quick. What makes Dory so much more adorable is her freckles. So I'm taking that blue eyeliner and just making little tiny dots all over my nose and cheeks. Moving on to the eyes. So I heard that synchronized swimmers like to use chapstick to keep their makeup on. And I also have this NYX Proof It Primer. I'm going to use one of that and start applying it on my lids. I'm taking these bright blue eyeshadows from my artist palette and applying it underneath my crease. I'm kind of trying to make little blue tang fishies on my eyes. Then I'm going to pick up the black eyeshadow and apply it over the blue. Make sure that the edges are really nice and blended. To make this eye makeup look cleaner, I'm going to take a black gel liner and create a deep cut crease right between the blue and the black shadow. Now I'm just going to outline the lower lash line with the darker eyeshadows. On the outer corners of my eyes, I'm going to make the cute little triangle tail. Uh, for this, I'm using ColourPop's Yellow Cream Liner. Add a hint of gold on the inner corners as well. And then I'm taking the gel liner and just lining my upper lash line with a very long wing on the corner. I need to darken the eyes some more, so I'm taking Cargo Swimmables Liner and applying it right underneath. It's time to treat the lashes with mascara. This one is made for water, it has little bubble designs, but there is a lot of waterproof mascaras out there. Lashes are never a good idea for swimming, but I just can't live without them. So I'm going to go ahead, apply the glue and just see if it stays on. Now I'm going to contour with a blue eyeshadow and make my face look slender and chiseled like Dory's. For the cheeks, I'm taking this cream blush by Too Faced and I feel like cream is just great for water. So cream eyeshadows, cream blush, cream everything. Finally for the lips, I'm taking this Aqua Lip Liner by Makeup Forever. I feel like applying a lip liner is always a good way to make it long lasting. After the lip liner, I'm going to apply a couple dabs of blue lipstick and this is going to make it more Dory-like and also moisturize my lips. That's all for the makeup and here's my gorgeous blue wig which I'm probably going to ruin soon. It's from PowderRoomD.com. The last thing I need to do is put on this blue tang mermaid tail from Fin Fun Mermaids and just keep swimming. After swimming in the pool for 15 minutes, this is what my makeup looks like. Everything is still intact. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to check out my sister's channel. She's doing a ton of videos. So until next time, bye!